Hey guys, so today is Thursday, May 12th, and I don't know how many of you have played this game, it's called Apples to Apples. Um, it's just, it's kind of like a word game, sort of, um, I don't know, you'd have to play it to really understand it, or you can look it up online or something, but that's not what I'm doing right now. Um, what I'm actually going to do is this thing where I'm going to start a story, and based off of whatever... Um, word is on the card, so there's a word, there's a noun. I can't see it right now, I promise. I don't know what these words are, but there's actually, it's probably somewhere here or here. But whatever the word is, it's gonna continue the story. So it's kinda like improv, and yeah. Alright, so here's go. Here's, here's go. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a little boy, and this little boy was really bored and hungry. So he decided to go to the kitchen and in the kitchen he opened the fridge and when he opened the fridge he found the Dallas Cowboys. Yes, he found the Dallas Cowboys and he was like dude what are these Dallas Cowboys doing in here? And he started to talk to them and one of the Dallas Cowboys said son I need to tell you something. Whenever you get really scared you should always have this in your pocket and the Dallas Cowboy pulled out of his pocket a silly putty. He pulled out silly putty and he was like, see, when you have the silly putty, this is what happens. You take the silly putty and you throw it at whatever's scaring you. And when you throw the silly putty, it'll it'll get stuck to whatever it is that's scaring you. And that that is what you do when you're scared. So the little boy said, but I don't have any silly putty. All I have is tornadoes. And the Dallas Cowboy was like, tornadoes? What are you talking about, kid? You can't hold tornadoes. You can have the FBI by your side, and when you really are scared, they'll help you out of any situation. But you can't have a tornado. You, you silly little kid. It, it must be your imagination. But the boy, he didn't really understand what this Dallas boy, Cowboy was talking about, because he was only about mm, five years old. Yeah, five years old. And he decided to close the, fr the fridge door, right when the Dallas Cowboy was about to tell him something. But he never knew what he was going to say because he closed the fridge door. Instead, he walked over to the cabinet. And he went to the cupboard and um, the pantry, actually. He went to the pantry. And in the pantry, he found roadkill. Yeah, roadkill. And he was like, what the heck is this doing here? And, and he didn't know what to do because, I mean, he doesn't drive, obviously. So he doesn't really know what roadkill is. But it was the most gross thing ever. I mean, why would there be roadkill in the pantry? I bet you somebody, somebody in that household, probably his older brother, who was like, 17 and just started driving, he probably accidentally hit that, that skunk, hit the skunk and um, put it in the pantry. To hide it. But anyway, he decided to close that door and instead just go to his room. But when he got to his room there was my high school prom going on. Yeah, my high school prom. Uh, I don't know what this kid was doing, but he just totally walked into my high school prom and I'm like, whoa, there's a five-year-old here, um, what's he doing? And he's like, no, this is my room, this is my room. And I'm thinking, um, no, this is my prom, <laughs> my prom. So, I don't know, this random kid, and that's basically how we met. And the last thing he did was, uh, give me a root beer float. So, even though it's a five-year-old at my high school prom, I would have to say that a root beer float was way worth everything. And that's my story. <laughs> yeah, um... That is all. I don't know if you guys have ever tried to do something like that. It, it's kind of hard the first few times, and even now I was kind of struggling, but it's been a while since I've done it, and I just remembered recently, so I thought I'd do one. And, yeah. Okay, well, that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed the story, and if not, well, you're not listening right now anyway, right? So, yeah. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye.